Hey folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we'll be discussing the complete roadmap for a embedded software rule like in any of the like uh, top semiconductor companies. So like you will think that what will you say about Anish Bhaiya? They were just embedded for the analog, they were interned on the analog, they were selected for the embedded. So like uh, the thing is, when they were selected for the intern, they were selected for the analog. But after that, uh, I had to like uh, do bit of embedded work also software work also uh, during my project and uh, i has i have to also like uh, give interview for both right for software and also like uh, analog dono ke liye interview dena pada tha mere ko to during that time also i prepared a bit of uh, embedded and all those things and uske pehle bhi i had a bit of basic idea right so like as they say prepare for the worst and like hope for the best so when you work for like a uh, top organization right in any any organization anywhere so you have to be a bit dynamic so you have to be at least know the basics right बेसिक्स आपके क्लियर होने चाहिए तो लाइक आई वॉज लकी लाइक आई हैड अ बिट ऑफ प्रायर नॉलेज ऑफ कोडिंग एंड ऑल दिस बिफोर ज्वाइनिंग ओके बट लाइक वट आई विल सजेस्ट इवन इफ यू आर नॉट प्रिपेयर फॉर एम्बेड रोड राइट हैव जस्ट अ बेसिक ऑफ लाइक बेसिक कोडिंग नॉलेज एटलीस्ट लाइक इफ यू हैव टाइम दैट इज इफ फ्रॉम योर मेन गोल इफ यू हैव टाइम साइड गोल यू कीप कीप इट लाइक दिस लाइक हैव अ बेसिक प्रायर नॉलेज ऑफ एट दिस टू बेसिक लैंग्वेज पाइथन सी प्लस प्लस एंड लाइक बेसिक बेसिक कोडिंग ऑनली बेसिक कोडिंग नथिंग एल्स ओके सो या दैट इज फॉर लाइक फॉर द पीपल हु आर नॉट लाइक into this and like just in general watching this video so let's come to the main topic of this video right so what will be my syllabus for uh, preparing for embedded profile so my syllabus right first the most important topic is c programming you should have complete full uh, concept clear of c programming right so next important is operating systems third is computer organization and architecture fourth one is microprocessor and microcontrollers and computer networks and digital so these are in order according to uh, priority list okay so this is the highest priority and this is the uh, least priority basically so like uh, don't worry if, if you are from other branches if the company allows then it's fine right if the company allows then it's fine because they may want a bit of knowledge of like electrical and electronics also in in their like uh, embedded profile right so yeah uh, if you are like if you aren't from um, from software domain right that, uh, for those people i am talking about so like in os like what what do you need to know like b- before os in c programming the conceptual knowledge of c you should have completely along with like memory management all those things so i will say the syllabus for interns also okay now i'm uh, saying the complete syllabus okay complete syllabus and all uh, these topics right these three topics you just need to have basic knowledge you don't need to like uh, have very uh, like high high fi knowledge for all these three topics but these these three are very very important okay now i what i will do is i will explain for interns right so uh, if you are if you are uh, an intern or if you are at second year right now so you should totally focus on this one okay you can uh, study all those things uh, later okay later stage because like uh, what happens is in the interview right you might say that uh, my subject hasn't been covered in like uh, in this current semester so they may uh, skip that subject right or skip that uh, ex- uh, question exactly so you might be basically saved right and for interns also like i want to mention this as starting only project is not that important but for full time role and for placements yeah project is important right so yeah uh, yeah that was uh, the starting now let's uh, see what exactly do- does a intern needs to learn right so you have to have uh like study the coding problems on bit manipulation arrays right so you, you do do it uh, in c only okay and bit manipulation arrays you you study it right? in c or c++ okay so i will i will tell you the resources uh, one by one you just keep watching this video and you will get to see resources from where you should study all this and pointers and their application you should have right so what are pointers what are the applications of pointers why do why do we use pointers okay and also function pointers okay function pointers are also very important also what is structure and union the, and the difference between them okay structure and difference and their application okay so this also you should know like this is a c topic basically so why do you use st- structure why do you use union uh, okay and what are the differences between them okay all these things now also again uh, like for interns we have to know what are the various stages in compilation process of a program so when you run the compile button in c right so there are uh, many things happen in the background so what are the basic stages so for c right you have to understand you have to ha- have a low level understanding when we do programming right in c++ or something like that we do high level high level stuff right but you have to know what is happening in the hardware okay what is happening in the hardware how is it converting each each code right how is it converting the uh, like the c c code into other other formats so this you have to have basic knowledge okay now basic knowledge of microprocessor and microcontroller is enough okay you don't need too much high high fi knowledge if in your semesters it hasn't been covered then you can even skip this you can skip this right also embedded c basics 
like where is embedded used and c basics okay all these things uh, you have to learn and os right os is very important okay operating system is very important uh atos is very important okay then mutex sema4 deadlock all these terms right you have to know you have to have basic idea what does these two uh, these uh, terms do and what are the differences between these these terms right mutex and sema4 what are the differences right okay atos is very important atos is very important so uh, for dsa right dsa basically what is time and space complexity what are the like uh, like differences if i want to do if i want to make my uh, code more efficient uh, like what will i lose out on okay if i make it more uh, like less less uh, time complex then will my space complexity increase or something like that okay all those things also storage classes in c like what are the different storage close classes basically we have auto extern all those things right so these things you have to know like from c i'm exactly uh, cherry picking the topics uh, which you need to learn for intern if you don't have exactly time right now okay now the next is data types right so data types you have to understand like what are the range of integer in c right so how, how, what is the maximum value of int i can give in c and, and for unsigned int what i can get give for signed int what i can give okay for float what i can give all these things okay also type qualifiers like basically constant volatile okay uh, these things you have to understand what does uh, like constant uh, variable mean what does a vol volatile uh, variable if i define it right what does it mean okay and macros also you need to have basic idea okay so now coming back to the full syllabus now this was just for the interns okay this was just for the interns uh, so these these were the specific topics that you need to prepare for interns now we'll uh, cover the full topics so first one is os so from where you should cover os right so uh, we uh, there is a youtube channel named gate smasher he has a playlist of operating system so you can follow that now the thing is this is for uh, this is uh, in hindi language so uh the people who are like uh, who prefer hindi language they can follow this playlist and uh, for the people who prefer english language they can uh, basically follow this playlist from niso academy okay uh niso academy has a youtube channel you can follow this playlist i will put all the links in the description okay now uh like how to do you for you completed the concepts right how to do quick revision so you can do gfg okay there is one uh like uh like uh content known as last minute notes you can see that to revise quickly also you can do practice uh, of os interview questions and gate pi quiz and os uh, quiz right this you do thoroughly right this too you do thoroughly okay you have to do more practice like the interview questions are very very important and gate pi quiz are also very very important okay so yeah this is where you can uh, search for the practice materials okay so this was uh, for the os another practice uh, like uh, material is interview with okay i will put all the like uh, links of the websites and all those things in the description so practice for uh, interview with uh, you can do there is like open system interview questions he has given here so you can uh, go through that website right and you can like uh, see if you are able to answer all those questions after learning from the playlist right so yeah that was for always now if you are really crunch on time the most important topics i have written here right so most important topics for OS is RTOS, interrupts, mutex, semaphore, scheduling of algorithms, and memory management. How does OS uh, do memory management? So these are the uh, basically most important topics in OS. Okay. So now, right, we'll do C programming. So what, uh, like, what you need to uh, know in C programming? For C programming, right, first is you need to know a bit of dynamic memory allocation. What does dynamic memory allocation mean? And what does static memory allocation mean? And uh, like I told previously also. You need to have a basic idea of low level things right so like what happens in the low level in the computer itself when you hit the compile button exactly what process process happens right what conversion happens okay so yeah th that basic understanding you need to have now these were a few books okay uh if you if you like if you want to read books if you are a book lover you can read this or you can follow you from youtube also okay so i i will mention the links in the description so like this is uh, from where i prepared during my internship basically i, I love love this channel actually so this is my code school and he has like very good uh, like playlist on c so you can explore his channel okay you can see if you like his teaching style you can you can explore his channel okay uh, but obviously like uh, if you don't prefer you can uh, see, see other channels also so he has all the playlists you just see the playlist and according to the syllabus you can cover through here all right there is obviously niso academy so both of these are in english only okay so you can follow the c programming playlist of niso academy fully okay uh, this is also good I, I also studied a bit of from here also okay so then uh, for the hindi viewers they can uh, do uh, they can prefer code with harry okay so like he has uh, also taught from everything about from basics you can follow code with harry okay so yeah this was for hindi viewers now like the most important uh, like topics is bit manipulation right bit manipulation is very 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 important you can't leave out that 
intern full time you can't okay so uh, during my intern what i did i studied from these two lectures you can study from these two lectures also okay so he has covered bit manipulation so uh, this is from like stifer only but this is from some other channel okay so you just uh, search like bit manipulations from stifer or something this uh, two lectures will come up okay so you can study from these two lectures now like uh, yeah as i told from uh, past right things that you should focus conceptual knowledge of c and memory management all these things uh, you should basically focus right so this i have already written here so now coming to dsa right so obviously aapko aisa nahi ki pura to do whole dsa aana chahiye but uh, like uh, basic understanding of dsa should be there right so basic algorithms like search sort sorting algorithms you should have a basic idea and like space time complexity what is space time complexity what are the constraints how can how can i reduce one and, and other one increases what happens uh, like if you give one like a uh, code then he wants you to optimize it more in terms of time of complexity so how will you optimize it okay what will be the most optimized uh, code right so all these things now data storage i already told like basis of memory all told and pointers and functions pointers are are very important okay pointers are very important you can't leave out that okay so like how what to prepare so you can uh, search from take you forward or stifer i think in sal so he has playlist there you can uh, do all these topics in this playlist but uh, like uh, there is so much content in dss so if you follow anyone you will you will you will get uh, get the content right? just follow these topics okay so much content in dss you, you will get someone so uh, the main like uh, the most important video is this one right pointers in c plus uh, c and c plus plus like uh, from free code camp okay free code camp so this one this video is very very like uh, complete okay you can follow this video only and your pointers concept will be clear the pointers uh, and the function pointers okay so like in dsa right dsa uh, for a written exam what what happens is like you have to study till stack and queue okay arrays pointers stack queue and like uh, all those algorithms and like all the previous things that i told uh for written exam okay but stack queue don't come in the interview okay so don't worry so stack queue may come in only the written exam also right uh, i'm uh, like telling you for the most of the companies so it may so happen few companies uh, the questions may come a bit difficult for few companies the question may come a bit easy okay so like uh, yeah that may vary okay but the syllabus will remain same okay the, but the difficulty of question from interview or from the written exam that may vary okay so yeah but uh, one thing is you have to keep in mind is you don't need to study graph and tree right graph and tree are not uh, required okay until stack and queue you study for written exam only uh, those are also not asked in interview whatever is asked in interview i told in uh, like a dsa section right for dsa what what is asked in interview so now right this one right communication protocols this is actually uh, not that uh, important for interview purpose but you should have a basic idea of what are the communication protocols basically spy i2c all these things i have to work on communication protocols also so you should have a basic idea because this is used in industry right? this is used in industry so just uh, have a basic idea of what is spy what is all those communication protocols right so mm, no need to study extensively so they they may not ask okay so uh, now is uh, now to study the uh, coa right computer organization architecture so you can you can follow gates masters okay his playlist he he has covered this in full hindi so you can follow his channel and for english viewers you can follow nature academy basically okay uh, full playlist for quick revision you can again do the gfg last minute notes for practice again like uh, you search for coa interview questions and gate pyqs all those things okay not that important coa is not that important but still important right still important os and c program are the most important things okay go to gfg and you can do, do all this now practice right you can do practice in coding ninja also uh they uh, they have provided uh, coa like um, interview question okay computer uh, architecture interview questions you can you can follow that okay so there is also like uh, a good course okay by like uh, a foreign uh, professor basically uh, onur mutlu uh, you can you can basically follow his course right i will pro provide the link if you have too much time if you have too much time and this is just a classroom type uh, teaching okay he has given uh, this one was old a new lectures has come up but uh, whatever you so whatever it suits you like you can see okay i will provide the link okay you don't need to go to that section but if you are not enjoying the previous uh, lectures but you can you can check this out this is uh, from a, a very re renowned professor basically so like what is the most important topic here just the basics of computer architecture and your like uh, class notes you do all those things okay basic things only no need, no need to do too much of like uh, heavy computer architecture i have mentioned the topics already right from now from microprocessor and microcontroller okay this is not that important but uh, you have to have basic like class notes you study device right next is like uh, you focus on interrupts what are interrupts okay and like uh, why why you, why you use interrupts and what are the different types of interrupts 
so this uh, you should have a basic idea of interrupts and like basics of microprocessor microcontroller you should have a basic idea of there like if you want to study uh, for free right there is a like a uh, lecture from professor shantanu uh, uh, professor shantanu you can like uh, check that out okay uh, for microcontrollers and microprocessors uh, but like uh, the best teaching style what i found i asked from him also like uh, varad acharya from youtube so but the problem with varad acharya is like he doesn't have like the full course of microprocessor microcontroller in youtube right so like uh, he has this in like youtube so uh, sorry uh, he has it in paid so if you have the money you, like and you want to learn microprocessor microcontroller so he his teaching style is really really good okay you, you can buy his course okay you can buy his course so that was for uh, varad acharya now let's uh, do it for like uh, how to practice it right? so you can go from geek, uh, geek for geeks again so there they, they have nodes and everything so you can practice from there also okay so yeah that's the same thing only now computer networks now you don't take too much pressure okay just uh, need to learn the basics just need to learn the basics so um, again you can follow uh, nisu academy okay uh, and for hindi you can follow gates masters that was for english and like again practice is gfg okay uh but well, the best source of that is okay so yeah these were for computer networks now uh, like for digital right digital you need to study like uh, much anything they don't ask you from digital uh, like basic number system you should know right so like how to like uh, convert numbers from one form to other form or like they have given you binary form can you tell th- that this is this number negative or positive all those things okay so digital only basics okay let me write digital basic side right? so basics on number system is good enough okay number system is good enough so all these things that i am telling right so these are like the broader range of syllabus obviously they they may go in the outlier right they may go they may ask something from like uh, from something else so that may happen so uh, obviously i can guarantee everything right i, I am just uh, whatever based uh, to my knowledge is i am guiding you because like uh, i have talked to you with, with lot of people in this industry so they have told me like this is this is also like uh, what you should follow right so yeah the another important thing is resume right resume is very important okay for, uh, especially for full time engineers resume is very very important resume is very important okay like uh, how you should do a project right you should do a project and like the interview will go discussion will go with the project itself okay and another things also but uh, with project itself it will go because this is a software right so project is important so you may ask like what project should i do you do project in any uh, like uh, good embedded s- softwares you can do okay any like group projects you uh, we do like software coding co- project we do group projects you can do any like project in basic arduino you can also do okay or like uh, any ml ai co- uh, project there are so many ml ai projects you can also do that so th- uh, that will basically carry on the discussion and that will uh, like uh, tell the interview that yeah you you did something right you did something and you and you have some knowledge right so yeah uh, that was it for uh, like uh, this road map so like that is uh, what i am i will tell you is like obviously this is my what is best to my knowledge and i asked many many people and they told me that like, yeah these are the basic things that you need to know for uh, to prepare for embedded role right so for in is a top semiconductor company so if something else comes from this so that is just out of luck okay anything can happen but yeah this this is the like a uh, best possible roadmap that i can give to you okay thank you for watching